Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joe. Today, just a very short video to actually give you an idea of where I am with the packing and the preparing of my own glass house, my greenhouse for the cold winter months. I just wanted to give you a quick update of especially the small area within my greenhouse that I've separated away for plants that require a slightly higher temperature than the rest of my cacti and other succulent plants. And you can see behind me the glass house that normally has a double glazing, so glass that is now covered and packed in bubble wrap. And that, of course, is to provide additional insulation against the very cold temperatures that we get here in southern Germany in the usually months of December, January, February, and uh, occasionally way into March as well. This heavy duty bubble wrap is ideal for insulation of uh, greenhouses. Um, it provides insulation not just by the actual air trapped in the individual bubbles themselves, but in between the bubbles uh, there's air trapped because this heavy duty uh, bubble wrap is actually smooth on the outside and smooth on the inside. So it's got uh, this additional insulation effect, not just through the bubbles, but the air trapped in between the bubbles as well. So you can see the bubble wrap that I've been attaching to the outside of my greenhouse and it's nicely packed, ready for the cold temperatures that have actually slowly started to come in during the night time. So we've been at freezing a few nights now. During the daytime, it's still quite pleasant, about eight degrees in the sunshine, 10, 12 degrees centigrade. So what I've done on the inside of the greenhouse is to mount these uh, aluminum rods that span the length of the greenhouse. And uh, in between these rods and the actual glazing is where I can then mount my bubble wrap foil. What that allows me to do is uh, still keep all kinds of... Uh, things hanging on the inside of the greenhouse. Uh, for example, the electrical heater, uh, which is hung by these uh, chain mounts, or I can still keep pots with plants hanging on the inside off hooks. So I've got uh, hooks on the inside of the greenhouse still, despite having the bubble wrap foil. I've got uh, um, ventilation, lights, etc. And the other nice thing about having the foil on the inside of the greenhouse is that in between my plants and the cold glazing, there's this protective layer now, this insulating layer of the bubble wrap foil, which uh, uh, keeps the plants nicely warm on the inside of the greenhouse. Um, without the actual bubble wrap here on the uh, stern side of the uh, greenhouse, you can see the bubble wrap on the outside. The plants are actually directly next to the glazing. And uh, that means, of course, if there's really cold 
temperatures outside than the temperatures close to the glazing on the inside of the uh, greenhouse will be uh, pretty cold too. So I'll show you where I am with the small partition that I keep during the winter months at about minimum of 10, 12 degrees. And uh, that's at night or on cold days, of course. If the sun comes through, then uh, temperatures will go above 15 degrees centigrade as well. But during the night, keeping a minimum of 10 to 12 degrees centigrade is the purpose of that small partition area within the glass house. And I'll show you that in a second now. So here's the front door, the main door to the glass house. And uh, I've got the main area is the area that I have most of my cacti and uh, also some other succulent plants. And this is where I'll go down in temperature to, uh, you know, about four degrees during the winter months. Now, here's the small separated area. I'm just gonna open that up here and just move the sort of sliding door aside. And uh, you can see I've got this partition that I've put in and that separates this smaller area from the rest of the area. And in here I've got uh, a bunch of plants that actually appreciate slightly warmer temperatures during the winter months. So I've got most of my Euphorbia collection in here and I've got a bunch of Pachyphytums, Epi cacti, some nice Epi cacti growing here. Seropegia, this is Seropegia woody. It's actually uh, quite a beautiful plant with these tiny but beautiful flowers. Don't know if you can see them come out here. And uh, it's actually got seed pods, this Seropegia woody. Can you see them there? I noticed yesterday when I was moving the plant because there were little bushels of seed. Let me see if I can capture those from the Seropegia. There you go. Those little uh, bushels there. Right, so what I've got here is a, you can see the bubble wrap that is attached to the outside of the greenhouse. That's what you're seeing coming through. Basically, uh, I can see that through the transparent glass of the glass house. And then as I move upwards, I've added for the actual roof sections, I've added the bubble wrap to the inside of the greenhouse. So you can see just behind this pot here, you can see hopefully that the bubble wrap that is insulating the roof sections of the glass house are actually attached to the inside. And here I've got my Christmas cacti as well. They're all ready to uh, start flowering. They've got all their buds ready to explode in a couple of weeks' time. And I've got Selenicereuses here. Uh, I've also got my Caudex plants, my Caudiciforms growing up here, and uh, some of the Adeniums. Then uh, what else? Yes, of course, I've also got a bunch of orchids, cold house orchids, that I'm growing, you know, alongside my cacti and succulent collection. And these are mainly 
orchids cymbidium this is that actually appreciate cool cooler temperatures in the winter months so they will be quite happy with the 12 or so degrees centigrade that this little mini room this partition actually offers there's more so-called cold house orchids here there's actually another one in flower let me just swing over here most orchids will not actually appreciate being grown together with uh, cacti and uh, succulents but there are some orchids that appreciate quite cool winter temperatures mainly orchids from highlands in the tropics and uh, I've got some of those growing here they are just beautiful additions to the uh, succulents that are in this partition of the greenhouse what else there is a couple of cyclamens as well that I quite like you can see from the temperature here the thermostat it's a nice cozy 24 degrees in here at the moment because the Sun has been out the whole day and uh, so outside we've got about 10 degrees C and inside 24. Here's a cyclamen. Cyclamen actually also go quite well together with many succulent plants. So uh, I've got more cyclamen growing here. And let me see, actually there's some cyclamen that I have down here below this bench and uh, I, I need to be moving those out now because they'll actually be showing their beautiful flowers very soon. Let me just take that pot and place it up here. So that's a, another very nice cyclamen plant. You can see the cyclamen main, <laughs> a bit like a codex really and uh, there are bulbs and um, this is where of course the leaves and then the flowers appear in uh, a few weeks time. I've got various other succulents, gasterias, graptopetalums, I've got aloes in here, uh, like I've said a couple of euphorbias, there are haworthias, and uh, oh yeah here I've got my um, frankincense tree this is Boswellia, Boswellia sacra and um, I've got a short a video that uh, shows this plant in beautiful bloom that was about uh, two months ago or so back in uh, August September I think it was August or so more euphorbias And uh, let's just have one more swing across the Euphorbia collection. I'll actually put a video together that uh, goes in a bit more detail into the Euphorbia collection of mine here. Got a couple of hanging pots. And uh, I must say this partition isn't fully filled yet. There are still a couple of plants that will be added and so it's uh, you know in order to really maximize on the uh, the fact that I'm heating a little bit more in this partition than in the rest of the greenhouse is something that of course I want to maximize on anyway that's it really all I wanted to show you today with this partitioned area in the greenhouse and the actual bubble wrap insulation that I've added both on the outside as well as the inside of the double glazed greenhouse. Right, that's it for today. I thought I'd just give you a little uh, update on where I am with some of the preparations of getting my plants, my greenhouse through the cold winter months and uh, showing you sort of the partition that I uh, have made to keep 
that batch of plants that require slightly warmer temperatures, so minimum of 10, 12 degrees centigrade, uh, keeping those separate from the rest of my collection that I keep at about 5 degrees, 6 degrees centigrade, so just above freezing. And that's really to save energy, of course. Uh, I'm separating off the bit that needs slightly more warming up. I hope you found this update useful. If you did, then as always, I'd be super happy if you actually gave me a like. Also, if you feel like commenting, that'd be fantastic. And if you haven't yet subscribed, I'd be thrilled if you actually subscribe to my channel. That's it for today. Stay safe, take care, and thanks for watching. Happy growing!